customize your car a little bit, but you're working on it and you want to spend a lot of money. Well, instead of spending a lot of money on pinstriping, you can do this. Get this ready, even though know, I ain't got it ready yet. Um, I know I can do it. Let's see if I get it off. But instead, like you're just in primer spot, or you got a satin finish on it, it's not for good. I mean, this car is going to be painted one day, but this ain't got the time, ain't got the money right now. So to give it a little appeal. I'll put on a little pinstriping that I bought off Amazon and I only paid $12 I think a roll, 12 something maybe, and it had, it's long, I do this car twice, was it over $12 and you can pinstripe your car, I think that's pretty dang good, that'd be pretty special. Pretty easy, just lay it down here, tight as you can. I'm probably going to come back and take that off and do it again. But I'll take this down the side, and I'll get a long stretch out here, right? And then I'll look down the line, and I'll lay it on there. And that looks like it's about there. Okay? Then I give it a little nice light tap. Get that thing going around. Then I go down to the back part. I've got that there. I get a little press there. I'm pretty sure it's straight right there. So I'll take it down the door. And I've already done the other door so I know about where this one's going to line up. And it lines up right on the keyhole. So I just got around the keyhole. Then come back here. All the way back, lay this thing back, give it a rip, pull it off, make sure you got the thing straight. come back here to the front and look at it see if it looks good coming around that corner it's got a little dip right here so I'll just take it and pull it down a little better just like that now it's got a really smooth line it goes all the way back I'm looking down there it looks good well we already laid down the white stripe and we did that with no volume on the microphone so now we're going to lay down the red stripe after doing the white stripe made it all straight I'm going to lay down this red stripe and I'm going to start right there kind of lay it down get as close to it as I can without touching it get that thing going around as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell real easily, but this car isn't really painted. It has a satin black rust oleum, no, it's not rust oleum, cryolite. Like cryolite. So, cryolite. Real easy spray paint to paint. It dries really fast, so it can be utilized. See that right there? Looks like a pretty good line. I take this one right here. Starts to rise up a little bit right there, so I'll just take this back off. Now lay it down. Let's 
trying to be as close as possible. That's all by eye. Right, there's not really any measuring going on here. So you got to kind of have an eye for it. But if you mess up, you can easily take it back off. If you're painting, that's just the way it goes. You're done. That's the way it's going to be. So there's that one. That puts the white and the red together. Again, this material is pretty cheap. You can buy it on Amazon. Uh, it's 8 inch pinstriping. It's called vinyl pinstriping. Well, it's just about anything you want, I guess. And you just lay that one down there. It goes across the keyhole. It's a good place to pop it. So yeah, I just kind of pat it down a little bit. Make sure it all stays down, then rub it. If you rub it and you don't pat it down first, it'll have a tendency to wrinkle on you. You don't want it to wrinkle. Not, not, not that you got a really expensive paint job on these cars, because this is basically a driver. Something to be said about driving your car. You spend all this time working on them, and you never drive them. So, once you get them going, you like to put a little, little, little more flair on it than it had before. And the car originally was like a champagne color. It was a cool color, but it had primer marks. It had, I don't know if you'd call it a good looking patina. I guess it was basically some Bondo. It's still pretty rough. And it ain't done any body work at all on it. So doing this kind of pinstriping, you don't have to worry about ruining your pinstriping job to pay some guy five hundred dollars to do. I got some pinstriping on a truck. So I'm gonna say I paid about five hundred dollars for about twenty years ago. It's all faded. So there's a good chance that this will last quite a bit. Just like that, you got it laid down.